Okay everybody, I am going to attempt to do a little tutorial here showing you how I put the uh, napkins on the bottles. I'm going to put a little bit of this on there and uh, well thanks to um, Mona who is 63 Sonatech, I, I did download the movie maker from the Microsoft website and I did a little test thing and I, if I have to stop and go with this, then I am going to be able to um, edit it all together so there's not those little clips. So thank, thank you, Mona, and everybody can go over and, and say, oh, Mona, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this is a, what is this? It's a Captain Morgan's rum bottle. And I coated it with chalk paint, the uh, plaid brand chalk paint that I found at Walmart and I um, I didn't clean the bottle up really good it still has some you know sticky stuff from the labels but I'm gonna cover it up with this anyway and this wrinkles now um, I like the wrinkly effect of this whenever I put it on and I, I kinda like it to get the crinkles on it now if you watch Patio Elf her channel, she shows you how to like smooth it down like with the um, saran wrap or plastic wrap to where you don't, nothing sticks to your hands or anything, but I'm, I, I kind of like the wrinkly looking stuff. So I did want to show you one thing, I don't know how close that I can get, I don't, let me, let me get up, I gotta try not to knock my tripod over. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there was still glue on the label. And when I painted it over, remember I told you how glue will will crackle paint? And you can see, I don't know if you can see those fine lines in there or not. But I thought, well, that was kind of cool that it did that. Alright, anyway, here we go. And I'm trying to figure out where to start. This is all one piece, but I, and I'm, I couldn't figure out if I wanted to, like, go around the bottom of it and then try to piece, piece, uh, piece it together. I thought, I might, I don't know, you know, here you go, you're going to be in my thought processes here. So, because you can go all the way around that, that would just be nice and just slick as a whistle, and then I could just, uh, maybe I'll try that, it'd be, uh, be easier to show you a little bit quicker, and then I'll just, let's see here, oops, I'm out of frame. Just trying to measure around the bottle, see how much I need of this because then I have to tear it again. I have to tear it and not, no overlaying it. Um, probably my arm is in the way, so probably about there. There's going to be a little bit of overlay, but I'm going to tear it right there. And all I do is, is I really, I just, I just tear it. I just try to get it as straight as possible. All right, now I'm just got one hand on the other, you know, and. Uh, and if I get it a little bit crooked, I'll just fill it in with some, you know, some of the torn paper. Okay, well, tore that off. And now I need to measure for the thing. I do like it to go under, under the bottle just a little bit, just right under the edge. So it's probably going to be just past the fold, looks like. I'm just going to tear that. And it's just really a matter of just tearing it and piecing it. Like the American flag one that I did, I, um, that one, I just, I tore it up into tinier pieces. And also the one that I did that was the, I'm just stumbling over this. I'm nervous. I don't like to do tutorials. I really don't think I have anything new to offer anybody. Um, my tie-dye one, my tie-dye one, I tore it in pieces. But those were, um, the tie-dye bottle was kind of odd-shaped. Okay, put that over there. Let's see if I screwed it up. It's going to be kind of easy. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to start on the bottom. And, put, and today I am using... For this tutorial, I'm going ahead and using my matte Mod Podge because I still have quite a bit of it in there. Give a little shake. 
I use the foam foam brush. It's not a brush. Foam is not a brush. Brush has bristles. Um. Okay. One thing I did learn is don't dip out of the cap. It gets all grainy there. Maybe I'll go. I might go down. I think I'll go down. Okay. See, I've changed my mind. Okay. Well. And this is really, this is really technical, okay? You brush it on. It doesn't matter what direction you brush it. Pick a back and a front. I don't think I'll make this my back because it's got this weird dip in the bottle right there. No, no, okay. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Put that, smear that on there. And then pick a coat, pick the start it, just start it, just go. Yeah, it's not rocket science. So I got it started. Yeah. And I just go like that. And then when I get down so far, you know, sometimes I'll go like this with the with the side of the brush. And when I get down so far, you know, I just tuck in under here like this with the brush. And even with the the glue the glue side of the brush, I just kind of just smooth it out. If you want it to go down into the creases, that's fine. I said I got my right-handed, so I had my hand in the way. And then you just keep going around. I'll go around the bottle, try to get my hand out of the way. Kind of important. I have noticed that. You do get the glue on all of the surface that you want it to stick on. Because if you don't, you have these little pockets of air underneath of the napkin. And I noticed that it changes the color of it. it changes the, It's like it makes it... Um, like right there, it had a little pocket. It, t it like makes it white or something. I don't know. I, I can't explain it. But just make sure that you know you do try to get your glue and every every surface that you want glued every part where the napkin is going to touch okay kind of wondering if my video is still going this and this is kind of a simple way to do it I picked the simplest thing to do And I have lifted them all the way back up before. Okay. And just smooth it out with the brush. Don't press too hard. What I'm going to do... Oh, sorry, press too hard and it moved it. Um, and it tore it. Not, not a big problem. It's... Uh, what I'm going to do now is... Before I get too much farther... Before I do this other side there... I'm going to lift this up like this like that to where it wasn't glued it's not glued yeah it's not glued there and you can do it all different ways you know like I said my hand's gonna get in the way again just lift it up and I said it may or may not yeah right, there's glue there um just Get in that little bit. You can do it from side to side. I just did it from, you know, top, the top to the bottom type of thing. Now, the thing about this is that whenever I said it was kind of important to get your glue underneath of the napkin really, really good, you can saturate the napkin from the top. I have done that. You can do that. Trying to keep my arm out of the way. I have done that. Like I said, I learned a lot doing doing this. I haven't done a lot of them, but I learned a lot in the little bit of time that I did do it. And then you just kind of drop its dress. Whoops! I tore it. It's okay. I'll fix it. It was really, really wet, and I did tear it, but I'll fix it. It's not a problem. I'm just kind of. Go down into the dip right there. It is. It tore it right there, but I'm not worried about it. 
Actually, I can probably pop it back up. It's good, see? Mistakes, mistakes, get made, get made. Actually, I was going to put this one, uh, a candle in this one anyway, so it's not really that big a deal. Alright. Okay, I'm not real worried about the tear. And now I'm just going to go back and do this. I probably should have done it from side to side anyway, all the way down. But now you're learning what not to do, too. Was it somebody said Einstein? Oh, no, Edison said, you know, you failed at making a light bulb. And he said, no, I just learned 10,000 ways not to make one. Anyway, okay. Like I said, there are people out there that do this so much better than I do. But somebody said, show us how you do it. Okay, well, I showed you and I tore my napkin and I didn't cuss, though. That's a big plus. I think I'm going to have to drop my camera a little bit. Let's just do this. Drop my camera a little bit here to uh, my camera and zoom in. Because I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to try to stay right there in frame to do the bottom part. But I kind of have to tip it like this. So, I got my camera totally on the wrong side, but, oops. Totally, totally on the wrong side. Well, that one did it by itself. It had some glue on it and decided it was just going to hop down there all on its own. Instead of probably out of frame. But... Yeah, oh, but this went on. This went right over. Look at how to do that. <laughs> thing about this, sometimes you touch it, your fingers are stick because it starts to dry pretty quick. I don't even know if I'm in frame now. Glue, glue, glue. Yeah. Never tried it with my left hand. He said I should have the camera on the other side, but the way my table is set up in this room, I don't have a whole lot of room on the other side of me. Yeah, I just, I just kind of fold it and squish, squish the glue out for the sponge. And I guess I'm not good at this left-handed. thing about it is when it gets about half dry so there's my tear right there when it gets about half dry it will you can you can kind of oops smish it and bring my camera back out you can kind of whoops wrong my features you can um You could smish down the, the tar or I don't know how to really say it. You could smish the curves down. Does that make any sense? Like if it's popped up too far. When it gets about half dry, you can just like push it in and it'll stay a little bit better. This was kind of going to be for me anyway. So, um, okay. and I'll get back and I'll maybe change my camera. Um, to the other side if I can or over my shoulder. You can just go in here and you can just smish those little pieces down that are popped up a little bit if you don't like them that way. Like I said, there's some that need more glue and like you can saturate from th this side. That's why the people who do it say get lots of glue on there but sometimes lots of glue causes the napkin to tear. <laughs> I said, this is going to be mine anyway. I've got some of those rainbow drip candles that should be coming today. Well, I mean, that's basically how you do it right there.
I'll tear some strips and change my camera angle and show you how I do up around here because it is a little bit different when you get up there. Alright, well that's the uh, that's part one. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps somebody. <laughs> Bye.